Thank you, Mark, and thank you, Chris, for that inspiring opening. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm delighted to welcome you to the George Washington University and to the historic Lisner Auditorium. It's truly an honor to co-host this year's Opportunity Nation Summit. You know, I think one thing everyone can agree on across the spectrum of political opinion is that closing the opportunity gap that uh, Mark just described is not only vital to our nation's economic success, but to our health as a democratic society. Opening opportunities for success is the best way to reduce the disparities in health and wealth that have increasingly become worrying features of American society. The future of opportunity in our nation very much depends upon the solutions that people like our speakers and panelists are already working on. I hope the conversations you have today will enrich your abilities to design effective strategies for increasing opportunity. At George Washington, our faculty is also helping to close the opportunity gap through research and teaching. Just a few examples, faculty in our Graduate School of Education Human Development are focusing on school reform and access to higher education. Our law school's Small Business and Community Economic Development Clinic provides free startup legal advice for businesses and nonprofit organizations. Dean Doug Guthrie of our School of Business and his MBA students are working closely with the mayor's office to create a business plan for the District of Columbia's economic development, and that will open opportunities for citizens both within the district and across the whole capital region. Again, closing the opportunity gap is not only essential to our nation's economic success, but to our well-being as a thriving democracy. We look forward to hearing from the many distinguished guests who will be part of today's summit, and we're excited to explore the ways in which GW can continue being part of the solution. Please enjoy the program. Thank you.